Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are buzzing up a tube of Frosted Cranberry Powdered Foam Facial Cleanser. Powdered foam cleansers kind of sound like a magic trick, but once you get right down into the formulation and see how it works, they're actually very simple. Because powder is the default state of a powder to foam cleanser, it probably will surprise you to hear that the bulk of this formulation is powdery things. This one is mostly clay. I've used a blend of white kaolin clay and pink Australian clay. The amount of pink Australian clay was selected to really just be enough to make the product kind of cranberry color. Pink Australian clay is really very pink, so I dilute it with white kale and clay so that you don't make a huge pink mess in your sink every time you use this formulation. In addition to the pink color of this formulation, our other cranberry elements come from the inclusion of some cranberry seed oil and some cranberry fiber. The cranberry seed oil helps refat the formulation so that it is nice and gentle and also helps weigh it down so that when you, know, you take the lid off your container to use it, the powder doesn't just go poof everywhere. Just keeps keeps things nice and calm. The cranberry fiber is a new to me ingredient and was a gift from Voyager Soap and Candle, adds just a wee bit of physical exfoliation. The magical foamy transformation of this formulation happens thanks to the inclusion of some sodium cocal isothionate. Sodium cocal isothionate is a solid, very gentle anionic surfactant and because it's solid, you know, we put it in our coffee grinder, grind everything up, becomes part of that powdery mix and you don't even know it's there until you get the powder wet and work it up between your hands and then voila, powder to foam. But yeah, making this is very simple. We pretty much just throw everything into a coffee grinder, blend until uniform and voila, you are done. So come on, let's get started. This entire formulation is going to be made in our DIY only coffee grinder. So you'll wanna make sure that you've got a blade coffee grinder that you only use for cosmetics. So we've got our powdery ingredients here. I'm gonna pop these in our coffee grinder and then put the coffee grinder on the scale and weigh in the liquid ingredients. So you're going to need 10 and a half grams of white kale and clay, three grams pink Australian clay, two grams coconut milk powder. I'm gonna save this one for later, but this is three grams of sodium cocal isothionate. I just don't wanna put it in quite yet because I need to put my dust mask on to work with it, but I also still need to tell you a few things. So we need 0.4 grams cranberry fiber, and then we're gonna do our liquidy ingredients now. So you need a scale that can accommodate the weight of your coffee grinder and the ingredients in it, and also is precise to at least 0.1 of a gram if you're making a 20 gram batch like I am. So you'll need one gram cranberry seed oil. This cranberry seed oil was a gift from Plants Power and it smells wonderfully fruity. And then 0.1 grams vitamin E oil. So now we've got everything but the sodium cocal isothionate in there. So what I'm going to do is pop on my dust mask, dump this into the coffee grinder, give it a little shimmy shimmy, to uh, get the drops of oil coated in a bit of powder so they're a little less sticky. And then we're going to put a piece of cling film, plastic wrap, over the surface of the, over here, and then on goes the lid. That reduces the volume of the grinder, gives us a faster grind, and then we grind until uniform, stopping to kind of scrape and stir with a spoon a few times to make sure everything is all incorporated beautifully. Once the powder has all the oil incorporated into it, it's significantly less floaty. It doesn't really just poof up, so the inhalation risk goes way down. I still wouldn't intentionally inhale this. Uh, that would make for a very bad time, but you are very unlikely to accidentally inhale it. But that's it for the making. Let's package this up. So for packaging, I'm going to use this little test tube with a screw top cap from Yellow Bee. This was a gift. Uh, whatever you use, I recommend making sure that it has a relatively narrow mouth for tapping the powder out. So you can either just kind of spoon it in if your spoon is narrow enough, or you can prop it up in some sort of a jar and fill it using a funnel. I think I'm probably just going to go the spoon route, or at least I'm going to start there.
for a bit of a use demo so you can see the bubbles. I've got a bowl of warm water here. You can tap some of the product out into your palm. A quarter to a half a teaspoon is generally more than enough. Get a bit of water in there and then work it up just like you would if it was a pump of like a liquid hand wash. You can see we get some low lather there. It feels very you know, slippy and cleansery. Very lightly exfoliating, a soft, soft kind of fruity scent from the cranberry seed oil. That's it. And there you are. That's how easy it is to make a frosted cranberry powder to foam cleanser. Thanks so much for watching. Please read the blog post and I'll see you next time. Bye.